With Cloud Manager Image 12, customers can now set up policies that will automatically manage environments, optimizing resources and cost savings. Using Policy Manager, you can automate frequently used activities based on a fixed schedule or events. Activities include starting and stopping environments. This allows you to bring down non-essential environments like demo, dev, and test when they're not being used, freeing the cloud resources to lower the cost. Scaling up and down running environments to add or remove nodes from middle tier to optimize the cost for heavy and light usage. Backing up and restoring environments to automate keeping your systems backed up and current and automatically applying application maintenance so that any time an application PRP is made available, it's automatically downloaded and applied to your latest PUM image. To support this feature, the Cloud Manager homepage now provides the governance tile. Use the Policy Editor page to create and maintain policies. Policy groups can be used for display purposes. Policy type can be event or schedule. This is an example of a scheduled policy to stop an environment. The policy object is environment, which is used to define policies for lifecycle activities on environments. Use the policy object repository artifact to define a policy based on artifacts in the repository. A policy consists of conditions and an action. Because this is an environment policy, the conditions require the environment names as well as the environment status to perform the policy. The Policy Action drop-down list shows available actions for the environment object type. Depending on the action selected, additional action parameters may be required. The policy expression is updated when the policy is saved. You can add or delete policies from the environment details. Use the Related Actions list to access the environment details. Select Policies. The existing policies are available. Select Yes to enable the policy for the environment. Click the View Edit icon to view the updated policy. When you add environments to a policy, the policy is updated. The ADB cloned environment was added to the conditions. Use the Policy Monitor page to track when a policy is initiated. In this example, the PRPs were applied to the HCM PUM environment when they were downloaded. For the Start policy, the first environment met the conditions and the start was initiated. For the second environment, the policy conditions were not met. You can also add policies to a template. To add policies to an existing template, select the template from the Templates page and navigate to Step 3, which is now Security and Policies. Use the Lookup icon to select the policies for this template. You can add multiple policies. Save the template. When an environment is provisioned from the template, the policies will be added to the environment. This completes our demonstration of the Policy-Based Environment Management feature. Cloud Manager Image 12 supports importing autonomous database dedicated environments into Cloud Manager. To use this feature, you must first migrate the PeopleSoft database into autonomous database on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. This is accomplished using the one-click Move to ADB tool. Copy the OCID field to import the database. On the Cloud Manager homepage, click the Environments tile. In Cloud Manager, use the Import Environment feature to import the database. After adding a name and description, click the Add Node button. Use the drop-down to select the ATP dedicated instance type. Enter the credentials for the autonomous database and click OK. Click Done to start the database import process. Once the database is running, select Manage Node from the Actions list to add the middle tier node. On the Manage Node page, open Select Actions. Use the options to add the Linux middle tier. Add the path for the middle tier. For this demo, the application DPK has been copied to the file server. Enter the App Home and Cust Home paths. Enter all of the required settings and credentials. Click Submit. Select Yes to proceed with environment scale operation. 
The status indicates that the middle tier is being added to the environment. Once the environment is running, all of the lifecycle actions are available. In this example, we'll clone the environment. Enter a new environment name, a unique autonomous database name, and select the container for the new database. Then click Clone. Select Yes to begin the cloning process. When the provisioning is complete, your new cloned environment will be running. This completes our demonstration of the Support for Autonomous Database Dedicated Infrastructure feature. As more and more public sector customers at the state and federal levels move to the cloud, demand for compliance with various standards has increased. Cloud Manager Image 12 adds support for government cloud accounts in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Cloud Manager customers can obtain government cloud accounts that support security standards such as the Federal Risk and Authorization Management Program Standard and the Defense Information Systems Agency Impact Level 5 Standard. This completes our discussion of the Government Cloud Support feature. Cloud Manager supports importing cloned environments as well as Windows Process Scheduler. When you select Import Environment, you can select the nodes to import. Select Windows MT to import the Windows Process Scheduler node. You'll be prompted for the Windows Middle Tier OCID, Credentials, and PeopleSoft Deployment Path. This completes the Enable Importing of Cloned Environments and Windows Process Scheduler feature description. It is no longer necessary to have a separate PeopleSoft client for applying PeopleTools patches. If the environment includes a Windows middle tier for Process Scheduler, it can also be used for applying patches and PeopleTools upgrades. Enabling the client and process scheduler to share the same node streamlines the process and is more economical. When you apply a PeopleTools patch, you can select the Windows middle tier node as the Windows client VM. This completes the enabling Windows client and process scheduler on the same node feature description. We've only shown you the highlights of this Cloud Manager update. For more information and other enhancements, See the CFO tool, the image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.